This is the Solix F3800 portable power station from Anchor. The design is tight, tall, sturdy, mostly black with some solid handles and chunky wheels. Honestly, I was a little overwhelmed the first time I saw it, because you don't expect a portable battery to be quite this substantial. But after using it for a while, I have some real thoughts to share. Especially if you're considering backup power for your home or looking to pull something heavy duty for your next RV trip. From my experience, the most important thing about any power station is whether it can actually keep your stuff running during a blackout or when you're off grid. The Solix F3800 definitely delivers on that front. It's got a massive 38840 watt hour battery that basically means it can store a ton of energy. You can run refrigerators, fans, TVs, charge up an electric vehicle, or even plug in a bunch of power tools. The rated output is 6,000 watts, which is way more than most portable stations you'll find. That's not just marketing fluff. I ran my full-size fridge, a couple of lights, and charged my laptop, and I still had more than half the battery left by the end of the day. One thing I appreciated right away was how easy it was to use. There's a crystal clear display on the front that tells you exactly how much battery you have left, how much you're using, and how much is coming in when you're charging. No weird icons or guessing just real numbers that make sense. The handle at the top slides out, kind of like a suitcase, which is smart because this station is super heavy. Officially, it's around 132 pounds, so you're definitely rolling it, not lifting it. The wheels are thick and move smooth enough that I dragged it across gravel without getting stuck, but stairs are still a pain. I'd recommend this for people who want reliable power, but don't need to move it every day. Not the kind of thing you're tossing in the back of your car for a quick picnic. I'll share a quick story. The first night I brought the F3800 home, we actually had a short power outage. Normally, I'd be scrambling in the dark, lighting candles and waiting it out. But this time, I rolled the Solix into the kitchen, plugged in the fridge and some lights, and everything just worked like nothing happened. That was when I got why people invest in these things. It gave me peace of mind and let me keep doing my thing. A key feature for me is just how versatile this thing is. There are a ton of outlets, USB-C, USB-A, standard AC outlets, plus high-power ones for things like electric stoves or even RV hookups. The AC outputs offer both 120 volts and 240 volts, so you can power big appliances or even plug in a welder if you're into that. For electric vehicles, you can activate EV mode. There's a little learning curve if you've never dealt with this kind of thing before, like knowing the difference between 120 volts and 240 volts. But if you're just looking to get backup for your house or RV, you'll pick this up fast. Charging this station is surprisingly fast for its size. Plug it into a standard wall outlet and you're looking at a full charge in less than three hours. That's really impressive considering the battery size. If you want to use solar panels, you can, but from my experience and talking to other users, solar charging is definitely slower. The ports are optimized for Anchor's own panels, which are solid but not cheap. If you have your own panels, you might run into some limitations, especially with the voltage cap. The maximum solar input is listed at 2400 watts, but you can only get that if you follow the right setup, and hitting the voltage and amp limits with non-anchor panels can be tricky. For someone who wants to be fully solar powered, that's something to keep in mind. Something I noticed during AC charging is that not all the outlets are available at once. When I plugged the F3800 into the wall to charge, about half of the standard IC ports were turned off. I found this a bit annoying, especially if I wanted to charge the station and run everything at the same time. I guess it's a safety or efficiency feature, but for me, it felt unnecessary. If you need full flexibility while charging, you might need to explore some DIY workarounds, but that kind of thing is only for those who are comfortable messing with power equipment. I'm just saying, out of the box, you may find that limitation inconvenient. In my opinion, one thing that keeps the F3800 from being perfect is the weight and portability. It does move on the wheels, but if you've got stairs, tight hallways, or need to lift it by yourself, you're in for a challenge. I managed to get it into my basement for a test run, but it was definitely not a one-person job. I'd recommend this for folks who have a good flat area to store it, like a garage or a utility room. For people just getting into solar generators or power stations, let me break down what makes the battery here special. The F3800 runs on what's called a LIFEPO4 battery, that's short for lithium iron phosphate. It's safer, lasts longer, and can handle more deep charge discharge cycles without dying like regular lithium ion. That means you get a solid lifespan, 
and Anchor backs it up with a five-year warranty. This battery tech is part of why you're paying a premium, but it pays off because you probably won't have to replace it for years. A couple other small points. The fans that keep it cool can get a little loud under heavy use. I tested the F3800 while charging my Tesla and running a space heater at the same time. After a few minutes, once I pushed the draw higher, those fans really kicked in. It's not quiet, but it's not much worse than a small portable air conditioner. If you keep it in the garage, you'll barely notice. Indoors, you'll probably hear it. For those who are more hands-on, there's even a way to expand the capacity with an extra battery, and some creative users have found ways to charge the battery faster using third-party chargers or additional solar setups. Just keep in mind that hacking the system like that could affect your warranty, so read the manual before you start splicing wires. From my experience, the F3800 is flexible enough for most home backup needs. I used it during a weekend camping trip, and it powered a portable fridge, lighting, a small rice cooker, and charged everyone's phones with zero issues. The display updates in real time, so you always know how much juice you've got left and how much time you've got if you keep things running at your current rate. It looks impressive too. The design isn't flashy, but it feels modern and matching for a smart home or RV setup. All the input and output ports are labeled, the big handle and wheels make it easier to deal with the weight, and everything feels sturdy. It's obvious a lot of thought went into making it user-friendly. If you ask me if this is worth it, I'd say yes, for people who need serious backup power and aren't too worried about moving it up and down stairs. It's perfect for families who want to weather blackouts, RV owners, or anyone who wants solid peace of mind. If you're just looking for a small, light battery to take to the park, there are better options. If you want something that'll keep your house running through a storm or help you work off-grid, this is it. I'd recommend this for anyone who needs reliable, high-wattage backup power at home or on the road and who's willing to pay for the convenience and performance. Just keep its weight and the price of solar charging accessories in mind. In conclusion, the Solix F3800 Portable Power Station is one of the best battery solutions I've tried for high-capacity needs. It's extremely powerful, reliable, and feature-rich, even if it's a little heavy and not always cheap to fully set up with solar. The quick recharge time and easy-to-read display are big wins for someone like me. If you've been on the fence about getting a backup battery like this and you want something tough, straightforward, and packed with features, the F3800 is genuinely worth a look. If you enjoyed this quick review, don't forget to subscribe and drop a comment below sharing your thoughts or questions about the Solix F3800 Portable Power Station. Thank you for watching.